previously on Half and Half. I had the best summer in LA. Yeah, got your email. <laughs> and entree new, I indulged in a little summer fling. Is he in this trunk? <laughs> we are planning a surprise anniversary party for my mom and daddy. Well, it won't be as much of a surprise for mom since she's throwing it, but daddy will be surprised. Camille, these pictures are incredible. I mean, how did you get Beyonce to pose with that lion? I didn't. We were on safari in Kenya. The lion ran up, I snapped the photograph. And I'll tell you, in addition to singing and dancing, the girl can run. <laughs> you suddenly get tropical in here. Are we having a hot flash? <laughs> Don't be silly. Women in their mid-30s do not have hot flashes. <laughs> what does that have to do with you? Spencer loves you. He's loved you since college. He told me so himself at Jason and Karen's wedding. He's been fighting it for years and it's killing him inside. Oh, I'm spent. <laughs> yeah, I had sensed that something was going on with him, but God, is this possible? Spencer is passionate about you. I listen, I see, I know. <laughs> huh. How'd I miss that? <laughs> Good, you're home. I gotta talk to you. Can it wait, say, three to five minutes? <sighs> no. I just saw Spencer in the elevator at Delicious slobbing down Camille, our new photographer. So? He didn't tell me first. Now, I don't mean he had to tell me before he tongued her, but now I realize this has been going on for a while. I mean, the canceled lunches, the whispered phone calls. We're supposed to share everything. Mona, some things are private and cannot be discussed because they could turn a person's world upside down. I mean, that's why I can't tell you about the miscellaneous baby I might be pregnant with, so get over it. <laughs> know what? Spencer can wait. Did you say miscellaneous baby? I am just one trickle away from knowing my fate. Oh my God, Dee Dee, who, when, how? Mr. Summer Fling on the beach, and I think you know how. How could you not use a condom? You took a whole suitcase full. Of course we did, but it broke. I think the salt wore it down. Oh, from the ocean water. No, from the margaritas. <laughs> oh, uh, what am I gonna do if I'm pregnant? I'm only in my second year of law school. I'm just getting used to being on my own. How can I be independent with a dependent? Well, maybe you're not pregnant. I mean, how late are you? 28 hours and 19 minutes. <laughs> you might want to hold off on buying a breast pump. Mona, I have gained two pounds and I am craving salami. I'm going insane. Would you mind if I peed alone? Actually, I'd prefer it. But please call me as soon as you know. I'll be at Spencer's. Hey, can I tell him you might be knocked up just to break the ice? No, you cannot. Well, then, can I tell Dad? I've been waiting years for you to mess up this big. <laughs> few screams of joy, and suddenly the whole neighborhood's... Oh, it's you. Yes, it's me, nipple guy. <laughs> and I have to tell you, my feelings are a little hurt. That's why I'm here, in the middle of a sex scene. Can this wait? I have a guest. Oh, she's still here? Yes, she is. C Camille, hi. <laughs> yep, uh, Camille. Uh, Y'all met, remember, at work, uh, when everybody had on pants? Cat for little Vina? No, thanks. I don't like drinking out of Spencer's jelly jars. Oh, me either. I'm pretty much game for anything, but 
I draw the line at Welsh's grape collectibles. <laughs> we have actual glasses now. Is she classy? <laughs> we? Is she living here? Oh, no, darling. Relax. <laughs> Look, I just didn't want to tell anyone about us until I knew it was real. That's okay. I just thought we were friends, that's all. Come on, Mona. Don't go questioning our friendship over this. And if I may butt in, which I'm going to do anyway, so don't try and stop me. Um, <laughs> friendship's not always defined by the sharing of secrets. Sometimes it's defined by the giving of space. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Real nice. I suppose you make a point. Some sort of grown up be more mature than I am kind of point. And I will contemplate that point on the other side of this door. <laughs> well, thanks for playing. See you later. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind, Mona. She's a, well, once you meet a mother, you'll understand. I knew you'd lose that man if you didn't do something. Now look what's happened. Not only have you lost him, you lost him to an older woman. And a foreigner at that. You let that woman sail across the ocean to take your man. Ah, uh, Spencer wasn't my man. And you know why? Because you didn't listen to your mother. I begged you to get to that man before somebody else did. Now you can't get to him because somebody else listened to her mother and beat you to the goods. <laughs> He's just a friend. Sure, a friend I spend most of my free time with, but hey, if he's happy, I'm happy. I'll just have to get a hobby. Well, your new hobby is gonna be being alone. <laughs> you wanna know about alone? I'll tell you about alone. It's waking up in the morning, there's two eyes staring at you, and they belong to a cat. <laughs> and sometimes it's four eyes, cause the cat brought someone home. <laughs> That's alone. Do they have psychotherapists for psychotherapists? Don't drag Dr. Hoffman into this. <laughs> now, have you thought about how to get Spencer back? Ma, I couldn't stop this if I wanted to. This thing is moving fast. Remember Spencer's jelly jars? Gone. They have wine glasses now. Wine glasses? What did I tell you? I tell you what I told you. I told you to buy that man some wine glasses. Two Christmases ago, I told you that. I even went down to Crate and Barrel and bought some for you to give to him, but what did you do? You kept them for yourself. Now you got eight matching wine glasses and no man. <laughs> All right, hit it up. Uh. I always wondered what outfit I wouldn't want to get caught dead in. Now I know. And I always wondered if pets really do look like their owners. They do. Speaking of pets, tell your herd of cats you'll be home early on Saturday. The party will be over by 10 so Charles and I can spend a romantic evening together. Oh, does the Ritz have a defibrillator in every room now? Charles is more energetic than you think. In fact, I'm trying to figure out how to slow him down in the boudoir. Trust me, you can't. Just get through those three minutes and get on with your day. If a blue plus sign appears, congratulations, you're gonna be a mother. If a pink minus sign appears, congratulations, you're not gonna be a mother. Talk about straddling the fence. Hello, hello, baby D's mother. Woo! I'll be right out! Sweetheart, can I get into the little girl's room? Had a couple of French martinis at Bisou, and you know I don't sit on public porcelain. <laughs> coming over? Uh, well, I needed you to uh, proofread the party menu. Shoo, 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 go, go. <laughs> so, am I gonna be Auntie Mona? Shh. I don't know yet. I peed on the stick, but before I could look at it, my mom showed up. Now it's locked in the bathroom with her. Save yourself! <laughs> Mother, could you hurry up, please? Just a minute, darling. No! Now I need to get back in there! Show a little patience. <laughs> A little intestinal distress, dear? Yes, that's it. Okay, time to go. Well, just leave the menu on your way out. All right, dear, just make sure you take a good look at this. Oh, oh my, my God, God, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs>
is really off the subject. Mom, you're pregnant? How is that possible? Well, your father and I have been rekindling our passion ever since his heart attack. I mean, could have happened any one of a thousand times. Fairmont, back here, the Bentley, your couch. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's just, we all thought that you were starting menopause. Guess I had a few eggs left in the carton. <laughs> wow. So what now? I don't know. With you on your own, it was just starting to be about me. <laughs> and your father, his heart is barely beating as it is. I better have the paramedics standing by when I drop this one on him. <laughs> hey. Hey. Look, I just wanted to get my leather jacket. I, I think I left it here. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry I showed up at your place earlier. That was kind of awkward. Yeah. Kind of like now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta run. Uh, Camille's waiting in the car. Great. You know, Spence, I'm glad you found someone who feels the same way about you that you feel about them. What's that mean? It means I'm being supportive. Now go! Guess what? You're pregnant and I'm the good daughter now? <laughs> Sorry, your luck hasn't changed that much. I'm not having a baby. But my mother is. Can she do that? <laughs> Apparently she can. And she did. And she is. Wow. Dee Dee's times three. Scary. Not to me, I'm thrilled. I think. Yeah, I am. I can't believe your mom's gonna be a mom again. This is like a huge life altering change. Especially for you. How so? Well, I'm the firstborn, that's in stone. But you, you've just become the middle child. You're not Cindy Brady anymore. From now on, you're Jan. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for you, man. We gotta talk. Why didn't Mona tell me she's happy I found someone who feels the same way about me as I feel about them? What's up with that, huh? I don't like being accosted. You have 15 minutes to get your hands off me. Did you tell Mona what you swore you'd never tell that I told you? I am offended that you would even think such a thing. When you tell a gay person to keep a secret, it's kept. That's what we do. Keep secrets. Got any more? No. And I don't ever want Mona to know I had real feelings for her. Had? Don't you mean have? I'm not fooled by that British beard you were sexing in the elevator. I know what's going on in here. Wow. Gibraltar. <laughs> Look, what I have for Mona was real. But she's made it clear she doesn't feel the same way. So I moved on. I'm with Camille. Sweetheart, you did a great job with the party. And with your mother not drinking, it's not gonna cost me nearly as much as I thought. Yeah, mom's trading one bottle for another. Wow, we're gonna be doing the bottle thing again. <laughs> Private school, in the car, in the college. Chest tightening, can't breathe. Remember the little boy who cried, chest tightening? You're gonna be all right. We're all gonna be all right. I'm gonna be a big sister and you're gonna be somebody else's dad. Yeah, I'm gonna be somebody else's old dad. I used to be the hip dad. Now I'm gonna be the hip replacement dad. Ah, uh, Pop, don't put that kind of pressure on yourself. You were never hip. <laughs> Stone. 
Um, the candid photos will turn out much better if, if they're a little bit more candid. <laughs> Dear, I don't do Pilates, Tybo facials, and Botox merely to provide eye candy for the random construction worker. I do it for image, and with pictures, I control that image by knowing where the camera is at all times so I can look my absolute best. <laughs> I don't do candid. <laughs> I see. I knew you would. <laughs> Want some ice to keep those things chilled while you work your way down to the prime rim? I don't bother. I brought a cold pack with me. Need a to-go cup for your champagne? Got that covered, too. <laughs> You're good. Can't wait to see where you put the fondue. Mona, they're out of shrimp, and something told me to check the bottom of your bag. Hey, this is my family. I'm entitled to this food. I just don't happen to be hungry right now. Listen, I need to apologize. I could have told you about Camille a lot sooner. Well, sometimes it's hard to tell people what's going on. So you just don't. And then they find out another way. Guess that's how life is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's not like I do this all the time. <laughs> Mona, please. It's why they have your picture at the register at the Red Lobster. <laughs> That is an amazing gown. Oh, thanks. It was a ceremonial Mandarin wedding dress, but um, I scored it off a shoot for Panda Express. <laughs> oh, 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 Mrs. Thorne, um, I was just about to reload. Damn, I hate to waste a good pose. <laughs> oh, there's my man. I'll talk to you later. OK. Hey, babe. Look at them. They're cute together, huh? Yeah. Real cute. Did I miss something? <laughs> nah. Ma, I can't believe you actually decided to show up. What made you change? Or have you been drinking? I'm here, aren't I? I would have been here sooner, but a crowd swept me into the Maimon Bat Mitzvah down the hall. Those kosher coladas really got some kick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to talk to you about some kind of delicate. It's about Big Dee Dee. Oh, She's... It's what I thought, isn't it? She going through the change. Yes. Big estrogen challenge Dee Dee. <laughs> I don't think you want to go there. I'm a grown-up. I know where I want to go. <laughs> OK. I see you're living alone and loving at club. Went home early. So glad you can make it. And I see you don't have a drink in your hand. Allow me to share. <sighs> it's like an old friend. Too bad my doctors advised me not to drink. The things they have trumped up over the last 20 years. Ah, those menopausal personal summers finally getting to you. Phyllis, did he tell you we're pregnant? Pregnant? Yes, which explains my pooch. How about yours? <laughs> you can't be pregnant. You're old, and he's older. But I still know how to lay it down. <laughs> so you see, what you thought was menopause was actually the end of my first trimester. So you actually do have sex with that man. I'm speechless. <laughs> That's the best gift I've gotten tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Here's to another 24 years of happiness, togetherness. And unexpected miracles. <laughs> to my mom and dad. I hope that Amazon has a 15-pound baby. <laughs> That's what I love about your mom. You never give up hope. <laughs>
Our mothers finally spend some time together, just the two of them. I don't think throwing up in adjoining stalls could be considered an act of togetherness. <laughs> hey, we are talking about our mothers. We should take what we can get. <laughs> Thank you.